It's a busy and exciting week at the Vienna International Center as more than 1,500 people are gathering to attend the 61st session of the Commission on Narcotics, Drug, Narcotic Drugs. Today we're at the social media zone joined by popular Pakistani singer and Yono DC Goodwill Ambassador for Pakistan, Shesar Roy, and our Yono DC country representative in Pakistan, Cesar Geres. Cesar, let's start with you. Can you tell us why you're here at the CND and what are you hoping to achieve this week? Well, as you said, Ezra is a busy and exciting week. And to add to the excitement, I brought a very high level delegation of Pakistani officials, uh, which is headed by the Secretary of Narcotics Control of the government of Pakistan, who is joined by uh, uh, another also very high ranking official, the director, the, the director of the narcotics, uh, the narcotics force of Pakistan, uh, a general, plus uh, around other eight officials from the Ministry of, of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Narcotics Control. So indeed, uh, Pakistan is taking very seriously uh, its uh, role in, in the fight against illicit drugs and implementation of UNGAS. Uh, and also because Pakistan is a vice chair of the Commission on Narcotic Drugs this year. Thank you very much. Now turning to Shesat. Shesat, you were appointed as UNODC's latest goodwill <coughs> ambassador in October last year. Can you tell us about um, your role and your areas of focus um, during your two-year term? I feel there's a, um, there's a need for greater awareness uh, uh, in the public about the negative consequences of uh, drug abuse. And, you know, we see a lot of campaigns around the world about, you know, say no to drugs. And we all know that, you know, it's harmful. But we still um, see our youth fall prey to drug abuse. Maybe it's because of peer pressure. Uh, they think it's forbidden fruit or out of thrill. So I feel that with you in ODC, we would like to design a campaign which, uh, which is not really preachy and which can relate to the youth. So we can reach the youth, start a dialogue. So there is no, there's no, the traffic should be two ways. So, so this is what we're trying to do. And you know, DC Pakistan is doing so many things. Uh, uh, they are trying um, to reform jails. Um, drug trafficking, um, criminal justice system. So we would like to highlight everything, but we would like to highlight uh, this issue that uh, the drugs should be in top 20. Uh, when, when, whenever you go and ask some Pakistani that tell us list like 20 issues, they will not mention drugs. So we would like to highlight and design a campaign so it will at least come in this 20 uh, list of problems of Pakistan. That sounds very good. Music, as we all know, music has a profound effect on mind, spirit, and behavior. It can enrich people's life in so many ways. It can be used to educate, it can be used to inspire, and it can be used to unite people. How do you plan to use your music and art in communicating the work of UNODC, in particularly Pakistan? You know, we all feel music is a powerful tool to spread the word, to reach out to the youth. Uh, and, you know, my music is sociopolitical, and I've been using my music... To, to reform education sector in Pakistan. And fortunately, we were able to change quite a few policies in the state school uh, sector and, and few laws also. So I somewhere understand the chronology of, of reforms that how, what are the first uh, baby steps you have to take. So I think uh, this time uh, through music and um, with obviously the team of UNODC, we're planning to design a campaign, as I said, to break the communication barrier between children and parents, um, between teachers and students, so they can talk about it. Because right now I feel that whenever you see children in Pakistan, if they, if they are into drugs, they, they're really scared to talk about it because they feel that they'll be isolated. Or, so I just want that you know, this communication barrier should be broken. And obviously with you and ODC, because they're equipping me with all the knowledge and, um, and you know, I'm en I've entered a new world, you know, understanding what, how you and ODC operate um, at international level and how different countries interact with, with each other, share best practices. So we'd like to, I would like to um, request the government uh, design a campaign which will convince the health ministry to declare it a health issue, not just a criminal uh, law and order issue, I feel. Thank you very much. I'm turning to Cesar here again. Cesar, what are the most important issues regarding drugs facing Pakistan 
and what are the latest trends and developments? Yes, uh, well, there are, uh, there's a critical development that worries all of us in the region, the West and Central Asia region, which is a huge upsurge of by 64% in opium poppy cultivation in neighboring Afghanistan, and also the uh, around 80% more capacity to produce uh, heroin and, and opium. So in this context, Pakistan being the next door neighbor to Afghanistan and sharing a 2,400 kilometers border long, one of the longest borders in Asia, is becoming a key and prime transient po point of uh, narcotics produced in the neighboring country. So therefore, uh, these huge numbers that I have just indicated uh, is really a, a mover uh, and shaker for all the countries of the region. So therefore, the need to do more of the work which already Pakistan is doing under the principle of shared responsibility. These trends uh, of high surge in, in, in drug production cannot be... Uh, uh, belittled. It's something that in forests like this one has to be taken as a prime uh, topic of discussion and also the international community needs to focus more on the countries who are first responders. Of course starting from, the, uh, from Afghanistan but also the surrounding countries like Pakistan, like Iran and the Central Asian republics. Uh, Afghanistan being landlocked, the only way out of its uh, of this type of illicit uh, production is through all this group of countries. Uh, UNODC doesn't work uh, in isolation. UNODC in Pakistan, we do have a very uh, um, close networking of, of our own work with our neighboring offices in Tehran in Kabul and in Tashkent, which covers the Central Asian uh, countries. So, uh, and beyond that, we work on networking the networks or other networks from Asia and Africa plus Europe, really to understand and monitor and take proper decisions how to curb the drug trafficking in, in, in the region. So the, the, the work that we do in Pakistan, and here we have Shesat, who uh, we are very proud to have a goodwill ambassador of his stature. And believe me, we were monitoring very closely him for some time ago, and we thought this is the person that can really help us to bring the message of, of this uh, uh, strategy to another level. So we are very glad to have him on board. And now in, in the international community, in this forum, we have the space really to elevate even further the voice of Pakistan, and also Pakistan resolves to uh, continue working strongly to curve the menace of illicit drugs. Thank you so much, um, Cesar. As you know, we're currently live streaming this event on social media via Facebook. Shesad, do you have a message for young people? Uh, you know, we've all heard about insomnia. So now there is so much information available that people have insomnia now. So, so they can, they can, you know, they can go on internet, they can do their research. UNODC is doing a lot of research in Pakistan. They have a lot of content they've developed. So they can go and see it online. And um, so they can, so youth can take a well-informed decision that um, how harmful this drug abuse is. So this is the only thing right now I can say. And as soon as we reach uh, back after this um, convention, I'm really uh, looking forward and really excited to work with UNODC and especially Cesar who really represents Pakistan even better than us. So, so I'm really excited to work together and design a campaign which, uh, where we can really, really impact or create a dent on the system. That sounds great to me. Um, thank you. I would like to thank uh, both of you for participating in our Facebook Live conversation. Since we announced this event yesterday, we have received a number of messages from the public requesting Shesat to sing. Shesat, would you like to sing a song for us? Oh, definitely. Because Cesar said he's going to dance, so <laughs> he seriously said that. <laughs> okay. I can keep him here. Okay, so I'll give just, I'll, you. Okay. Um, you guys can stand over here, please. Um, tu dekhta hai par bolta nahi, tu sochta hai. पर बोलता नहीं कह दे 
कह दे रंग बदलना है ढलना है नहीं तक देरों में ढलना है तुझ जिसका है इंतजार तुझ जिसका है इंतजार तू खुद है मेरे यार उठ बांध कमर क्या डरता है फिर देख खुदा क्या करता उठ बांध कमर क्या डरता है फिर देख खुदा क्या करता है बारह करोड़ हाथ उठे जो मिलकर साथ मुश्किल दिन मुश्किल रात एक पल में आसा हो जाए बदलेंगे ये हालात बदलेंगे हम क्या सोचता उठ बांध कमर क्या डरता है फिर देख खुदा क्या करता है उठ बांध कमर क्या डरता है फिर देख खुदा क्या करता है थैंक यू Sesa you want to sing as well? No. Oh well I can't but I can really give a very strong round of applause for excellent yeah. uh, interpretation of Sesa. I would like to thank again to both of you. Hope you enjoyed this live streaming. Follow you on Odyssey on Twitter and Facebook for updates about our work. Thank you so much again. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. You broke the ice well. We felt very comfortable. Thank you. Great. Uh, Oh, let me let me just